Okay, hi there. Welcome to this session. My name is Guo Jun Gao from Huawei. Today, I'm gonna talk. Uh, I'm gonna talk about uh, the 5G uh, open source MEC platform, which is Edge Gallery. Okay, let's move on. Today, I have three topics to uh, to show. The first one is uh, is the introduction about our platform. And the, the second one is uh, the feature details and the deployment method of Edge Gallery. The third one is I will show you a demo about Edge Gallery. So let's move on. Okay, so here's the pictures about the uh, 5G scenario. So, you know, now the construction of 5G networks is everywhere, covering more and more places. So how can we effectively and efficiently unleash the productive forces of 5G? So that this definite, definitely requires us to build relationships about a production. So for a long chain relation uh, of production like the chain in the ICT industry, there must be new relationship about uh, the productions based on networks and ecosystems to efficiently, effectively unleash the productive forces of 5G. So like the uh, the pictures uh, right, now, right, right, right here uh, is uh, intelligent, uh, intelligent factory, intelligent school, and uh, give you, uh, gives government to have classes. And uh, here's the uh, intelligent hospital. Uh, here's the uh, intelligent harbor. Here's just you know uh, the B2C, which means uh, uh, vehicle to everything, huh? So you know, so the whole system. So, so I mean, the whole ecosystem needs a platform to to have the uh, guideline about the uh, service uh, service governance, traffic offloading, cap capability of openness. So here's the. Uh, uh, why the uh, edge gallery come from, huh? So right now, Telecos needs a, a MEC open source platform uh, that covers the whole system. So in the past few decades, you know, the communication industry has undergone three transformations from IP-based transformation to network industry separation, and then to digitalization. So in this process, uh, the network infrastructure uh, supports more diversified services. However, uh, the structural value transfer also reduced the share of telecom pipes in the internet industry chain. Yeah. So how do we cultivate a new growth opportunities on the new network infrastructure? So this is the key to reverse the current situation. Yeah. So the edge computing provides a possible solution to us. Yeah, that's the edge gallery. <laughs> yeah, so uh, which is the, uh, so, you know, edge, edge computing provides a possible solution to us, which is feasible. So some people even think that uh, although we missed the, the chance of data center market uh, worth trillions of dollars, you know, there are more uh, enterprise markets worth trillions waiting for us. Yeah, it's right here. Yeah. So therefore, um, some hold the edge computing is a huge opportunity for uh, the telecom or ICT industry. And, and right now, we cannot afford to miss it. Here's the industry and here's the chance, here's the opportunity. So let me let me talk about the uh, the ar architecture or the platform. So here's a developer. So so like like the coder right now, uh, like like me, yeah. So we can code and develop a, a software uh, project and uh, on our platform and uh, and after developing and uh, they need to test and they need to package the whole project. And here's the tool chain about the uh, the whole the whole system the whole project. And they need a MEP, MEP platform. And MEP means um, multi-access edge platform. And they need this MEP simulator to 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 run their project. Yeah. So after so after develop after uh, test after package, uh, they can just uh, 
publish their uh, project to the app store. Here's the, just like a marketplace to uh, for the uh, for the end user to download the app. Yeah, and uh, for the operators, just like uh, just like the, uh, the 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 operators uh, in the <laughs> in the market. Yeah, so they need to manage the the whole system. They need to manage. Sorry, they, they need to manage the whole uh, the, the whole store. So here's the all the app in the app store. So beyond the uh, uh, MEP platform. So yeah, here's just like the uh, here's the platform's architecture. MEP just uh, is the is the bottom of the arch architecture, and the operator can just uh, uh, can just manage the uh, the uh, yeah the, the the dozens of apps here right now. Yeah. So here's the uh, production environment. So, yeah, let's move on. So, so here is the edge gallery, and uh, and uh, just what I said is uh, why the uh, edge, edge edge gallery comes from. Yeah, so edge gallery build a technical led uh, edge platform and ecosystem. So our mission is uh, to create um, I mean, say open architecture and uh, open standards. And we want to build to be ecosystem. We are simplifying the development to to let the uh, the, the common developers to develop their their uh, their project faster and faster. Yeah. So here's the scope. MEC common platforms needs to have these things. The first one is MEP. Uh, like I said, MEP is just a, a, you know multi access uh, edge uh, platform. So the architecture of M uh, Edge Gallery is divided into four parts. Here is the uh, uh, the first part is the MEP platform. It provides the basic service governance framework and some uh, gradual improved network cap capabilities, such as location and QoS, which means uh, quality of service, to enable the MEP basic platform layer. At the same time. The basic platform layer provides the simplified MEC management plan for operation and the enterprise self-management. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Here's the things: self-management. Yeah, and the uh, and the implements the uh, the customer service uh, self-service and self-service portal and the uh, automatic service uh, orchestration and the management and provides the uh, capabilities of application release synchronization and, and the, the and the security authentication. Yeah, here's the M and here's the MEP. So uh, this is um, uh, so the third uh, maybe the the second one is MEC. MECM and O, which means uh, MEC management. So uh, MECM uh, unified application lifecycle management and the monitoring, and you know, yeah, just uh, the, the manager of the whole system. And the third one is the App Store. App Store unified the application hub store. So just uh, for the user, for the end user to download the app, and after the uh, you know developers, uh, the, the common developer, I mean the coder, huh? After coder to publish their app, app, their application to our system, to our platform, and the end user can download the app at the app store. Yeah, maybe the third one is um, maybe the fourth one is the uh, MEC develop portal, just for developer for the common common user for their common coder. Yeah, it's just IDE plugins and testing. Mm, tools so based on the application repository uh, application of each carrier can easily enable to uh, to achieve a business closed loop yeah yeah that, that's what we want yeah to facilitate application development for the developers and the partners from all industry so we uh, we can also provide the developer platform and tool chain to support application uh, migration on mutable uh, Platforms, yeah. For example, migration between uh, x86 uh, x and uh, ARM, yeah, and ARM, yeah. So here's the architecture about our uh, our platform. So yeah, as you already use a cloud connector to implement. Yeah, here is the cloud. Uh, yeah, and uh, uh, use a, a cloud connector to implement the uh, interconnection between the open source edge. Uh, Platform and the uh, public public cloud ecosystem. So the applications on the cloud can be uh, can be deployed uh, at the edge. So currently, Edge, edge Gallery plans to share applications with uh, our uh, our public 
cloud by some agent plugins. Yeah. So in the future, we will gradually share applications with other, you know, public clouds. Yeah, maybe uh, awards. Yeah, just 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 like that. Yeah, yeah. So I'm gonna. Uh, so the secondly, uh, I will give you some feature details and deployment method of uh, of our platform. So here's the uh, quick view about uh, our uh, our platform. Yeah, here's the uh, Azure Gallery, Azure, Azure Gallery developer uh, GUI, which is just uh, for the common coder to uh, to test, to to develop, to uh, to publish their app. Yeah, their project maybe. Yeah, here's the app store. So for the end user, uh, for the common user, they can download the app just like this is app 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 app. They can download the app here, and the third one is the is the uh, MEC manager just for the administrator or the uh, manager? They can manage the whole system uh, here. Yeah. So, sorry. So the Edge Gallery develop. Uh, so our so our platform is uh, developer oriented. Um, maybe it's just a re really really friendly to the uh, the for for the for the for the coder. So here is the developer plan platform. So for the common coder, for the common developer, they can just uh, um, they can choose a platform to to test to publish their app, and 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 uh, just like I said, MEP this uh, they they need to choose a uh, uh, MEP capabilities, and the and the third one is they need to uh, they they can choose a tool to uh, to to install their app to install their project. Here's just the GUI, and uh, here's maybe you can code, you can you can uh, you can publish your your project here. Yeah. So after develop preparation, so they can develop and and test their uh, their project on our system. So here's just like you know, every 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 coder knows the uh, here's the some interface maybe. Yeah. So after develop test, maybe uh, after. After they package their app, and uh, they can just uh, have a integrate uh, test. So after test, maybe they can publish their uh, app. Maybe they can publish their project on our platform. So yeah, after published, um, here is the app store. So after published their um, their uh, project, and we and, and we test their. Um, Project uh, with uh, with uh, safety, so so yeah. Right now here they can publish their app here, and so then for the end user they can download the app here. Yeah, and the, for the manager, for the uh, administrator, so they can manage the the whole system. Maybe the uh, so the resource uh, in re resource situation of, or the uh, edge situation they can just manage the all the whole system uh, right here yeah so this is uh, MEC management for the uh, for the uh, for the administrator for the manager yeah yeah they can just uh, see the uh, every edge every uh, IP node uh, yeah very 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 simply so yeah I will so maybe I will give you some uh, some introduction about how to uh, how to deploy our system. Yeah, here is the here is the here is the uh, official website. Yeah, uh, maybe sorry sorry. Here is the um, repository of our our project, and it's it's Giddy. Uh, slash edge gallery and here is the uh, our official website and so everyone here can everyone here can just uh, sorry everyone here can just uh, uh, download our uh, project very simply and uh, if, if you want to just uh, download the edge edge set maybe the edge management you can just download this app and for the controller, I mean, maybe for the for the for the manager, you can just download this one. And uh, if if you if you want to download and publish uh, and uh, uh, and deploy all the all the things, and maybe the edge and the manager, like I said, you can download this one here. Yeah, it's re it's, it's really easy. <laughs> yeah.
Okay, so after the uh, so the, after the introduction about our deploy, uh, deployment method and uh, and the feature details, uh, here I'm gonna show you some demos about our platform. Yeah, here just like I said, it's a V2X, V2X, which means um, a vehicle to everything. Yeah, so here is a unified a unified coordinate system for a road side. Here's a road side, and uh, here's a road side. Here's a vehicle side. Uh, perception information and uh, secondary fusion of information such as the uh, here's a car uh, car position. Uh, car speed and the state uh, state of the uh, detective object. Here's object, just like maybe an object, just like a uh, pedestrian. Uh, I mean a walker, or uh, yeah, some object here, uh, just in uh, in front of the car. Yeah. It's a roadside information perception, roadside perception. Here's a car side perception. It, here's is a unified coordinate system. Yeah, um, perception information local closed loop, a local uh, closed loop of the road network information. Here is based on intelligent calculation. Here's a intelligent copy, um, uh, yeah, cal calculation. Yeah, sensor information is is fused. Uh, to form real-time data, which is the uh, is transmitted to to the vehicle side. Yeah, here is the uh, road side to the vehicle side, and uh, to uh, to improve the confidence of autonomous driving perceptions. Yeah. It's just for the uh, uh, driving automation. Yeah, here's the uh, architecture of the uh, of the things. Um, here the the camera is for the road side. Here is it for the road side perception, and uh, here is the, the the car, the vehicle. It's a, a ROS, which means uh, it's a it's an operation system, and here is the RSU RSU. Uh, yeah, um, yeah. Just, just this thing is just for the uh, for the uh, uh, V2X. It's, uh, this logical connection is the the car car um, I mean the car information is to to the uh, roadside uh, roadside unit and just uh, up, upload to camera and 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 the camera can just uh, uh, use the this information to to calculate these things and uh, when the just uh, just like that uh, when the uh, car uh find some uh, object uh, i mean like walker or or some uh, object in front of the car maybe the car will stop yeah just like that it's just uh, it's just for uh driving automation um yeah <laughs> it's just like a ai um application so uh, here here is the uh i'm i'm, I'm going to show you how to deploy it uh on the uh, edge gallery, so yeah. Give me one second. Yeah, here is just the, the uh, developer uh, view. This is just a brand new developer view. So so after we um, we, uh, we get this page, and we can just uh, create uh, the application here and uh, start plus start and. Uh, this app name, application name, maybe it's a way to X uh, road app PP. Oh, sorry. And uh, we, 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 yeah, we need an icon here. So, yeah, I just already uh, have here. So, uh, description. So, we can just do here's for test. Yeah, just to confirm. Yeah, now the new project add just now is successful. So we need to uh, upload some file right here. Yeah, we we upload a YAML YAML file to create uh, the the environment. Yeah, I already I already done here. So so just to push next. Yeah, we need a uh, uh, an environment to test our app. Um, here, I just choose the sandbox environment, and we just uh, start to deployment. Uh, yeah, here, it's, you know, it's just for default, default uh, deployed. So it's very simple, huh? 
See, after create the deployment file, assign, assign test nodes and uh, instantiate application. And now uh, we, we need to get the deployment status. So, yeah, it needs some, 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 some well, yeah. See, the new, the brand new, the brand new system is very beautiful, huh? Purple is our official color, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, right now, uh, we just uh, published the, uh, the deployment successfully. Yeah, here, deploy successful. And uh, next, yeah, we need to release the resource here, uh, just for our environment, for our, uh, yeah. Okay, so next step. Oh, sorry. Yeah, we need here, please, click application certification to test before application release. Then we, we clicked application certification. Just to test the, the, the safety, the safety of this application package. Yeah, see right here, it's, it's, test, it's testing right now, just like that. The common complete, uh, complex test. Uh, here is the common sandbox test. And uh, here is the common security text. Yeah, security test. This is for maybe for the, for the environment. And here is for the security, huh? Yeah, all passed. See? It's all done here. Yeah, you can just upload your self-test report, but we, we don't need it right now. <laughs> yeah. And the next step, see, uh, our V2X road app is uploaded successfully right now and it, it deployed right now uh, successfully. So we can just uh, publish the, this app, this application to uh, app store right now yeah just uh, after publish publish uh, after publish the uh, this app and uh, you can just uh, find your find your uh, find your application here just in the app store yeah here here is is the app store for the uh, for the for the for the user here is you can just download the all the all the all the app here just for the end user yeah after developer I'm, i mean the common coder or the common developer uh upload their application package and uh, upload their on uh, their app project something like that at the developer system and uh, after publish it uh, so so the end user maybe the an administ administrator or the common common end user can find the app here yeah here is the whole whole system. Here is the whole um, root routine of uh, develop the the app here. Yeah. Okay. So let me let me see. Yeah. So after so after uh, after the, the this V two X app has been published. So just you can see. Here's a, just a, like a demo for us. Yeah, the the car. I mean, this little car can just uh, run on the road. The, the, this white thing is the road can ride on can just uh, can drive on the road smoothly and smartly and intelligently by their self, by itself, yeah. It's called artificial intelligence. It's called inter artificial intelligence. It's called driving automation, yeah. Yeah, what's done is done here. And uh, thank you all for listening and uh, watching. So here is the uh, website, uh, official website about Edge Gallery. It's Gitty. It's the our uh, repository is on the Gitty. So uh, 
I wish you guys can just uh, follow us and uh, our vision is to build a collaborate and a winning relation of production for edge computing and our system, uh, our platform aims to build um, the standards for the 5G edge computing and architecture and the capability openness in the open source mode, reducing the threshold of bringing enterprise and applications on board and the, uh, of the industrial platform for 5G edge computing. So in this way, uh, a large scale 5G application business ecosystem is formed through the uh, new collaboration mode, develop mode, uh, ecosystem construction mode and the transaction incubation mode so our platform, I mean, Edge Gallery hopes to uh, enable the, the new relation of production and unleash the productive force of 5G. So if you guys want to go fast, go along. But if you guys want to go far, please come with us, go together. Thank you. Hello, everyone. Uh, this is Victor Gao from Edge Gallery community. Uh, today is we are going to print uh, uh, the tutorial about uh, when IoT might be missing the convergence of the Google Edge and the Edge Gallery. So today's topics, uh, we have three people to present the slides, and uh, at last we have a demo to show how the Google Edge and the UA, uh, integrated together to give the uh, open framework for the industry IoT applications. Uh, so. Edgecarry is an open source MEC platform that could provide the 5G open capabilities and to end the device ops toolchain for the developer and the applications federation repository for the industry, industry <coughs> applications. Also, we have the uh, orchestrator for the uh, carriers that could orchestrate all the applications and resources uh, around the uh, different world, different uh, location and for different uh, uh, edge node. So Kubeage is an open source edge computing framework that uh, extends uh, the power of Kubernetes from a cent central cloud uh, to edge. So today we are going to present uh, the integration of Kubeage and edge gallery. So uh, today's contents or topic we have four. So first we are going to introduce the edge gallery, the how edge gallery works. And secondly, we will introduce the Kubage and we have the brief introduction for the these two projects. And uh, of this, we will give the overall view of that uh, the convergence of Kubage and edge gallery. At last, we have the demo comes from Commander Kumar to how Kubage and edge gallery works together. <coughs> So um, at first, I, I want to um, talk about the AGR position and the scope. So our scope is building a unified MEC ecosystem and accurate the commercial use of MEC. As you can see on the right side, we have the four parts of the edge gallery. The first part is MEP that has known as the MEC platform that defined in uh, HC MEC SIG. So, uh, we will leverage the software capabilities such as AI or UPF or 5G capabilities that comes from the uh, carrier network. And we also provide uh, like the uh, gateway and to the uh, applications and, and the applications can uh, using such capabilities by using the unified uh, gateway we call the MEP. Um, and the second one is the MEC application orchestration and management as known as MEU and MEPM. So MEU and MEPM, we are, <coughs> we are provide as a unified application lifecycle management and resource and application monitoring. Also, we can, you can see we can currently we already support the uh, OpenStack and the Kubernetes support uh, for as as to give the uh, application lifecycle management and the resource monitoring. Uh, as a third part, we have the application federation. The application federation is unified application repository and a smoothly interconnection with commercial application markets. That <clears throat> makes the uh, uh, application easily to deliver from the application store to the uh, carrier MEO or MEPM system or, or communicate different application 
store so that we can uh, share the application ecosystem for for all the carriers and uh, application developers. So at four, uh, first part is developer to change that uh, we provide a code integration and a standard uh, um, MEP APIs. Also, we provide a, a huge <coughs> capabilities um, comes from the hardware or third party uh, applications that make uh, make the uh, uh, developer too easy to use. And we also will package and test the applications for the end users. <coughs> So our position is carrier lead, uh, edge computing architecture and the capabilities, openness, de facto standards, lower the, lower the threshold for enterprise application deployment, build a skill and build a to be business ecosystem. Uh, so our uh, goal is build an edge computing project that is most cap compatible and with connection plus computing in the telecom industry. So here is the edge gallery, uh, edge native architecture for the uh, latest release. So we, we give the concept of the edge gallery, we call it edge native architecture, that we um, resolve so many concepts of, about uh, how uh, edge native architecture should have. So at first, let me introduce the edge gallery architecture. We have separated our edge gallery into three terms. We call it design term distribution time and the run time. So design time, as we said before, we have the developer portal that provide the developer tool chain for the, for the application developers that we use, they can use in SDK API or plugin to using the 5G capabilities. And we also have the uh, capabilities exposure design that, uh, that the application developer can use it. Oh, we also have the container, the virtual machine packaging, we already support, we, we both support the OpenStack and the Kubernetes. So we also have the online debugger and the monitoring we call the sandbox. With the sandbox, we could include a different uh, capabilities such as the 5G or other uh, GPU, CPU, such hardware capabilities. Um, <clears throat> so, uh, we also have the application test platform that we can use in such platform to uh, to test the um, to test the, the applications for for the application developer that is before you are going to the application repository uh, before we call the application store that you you must pass such tests to the um, on the on this platform, you can upload it to the application repository. We call the app, app store. So, uh, on the application test platform, you can using the uh, the existing test cases. Also, you can upload your test cases comes from different. Uh, uh, I mean, the customers, for example, that ca carrier they have the different uh, test cases. You can get it, and uh, we can together using the application test platform to test it. We also have a design portal to design the uh, applications, and also we can also design the edge gallery on demand installation. So after you pass all the tests and you also integrate uh, the, the application on our platform, you can uh, go into the application repository. The application repository, we can uh, do the application distribution between different application store and uh, between the application store and the uh, MEO. So we also have the online experience and the catalog of federation, such communities or functions. After we distribute the application to the MEO, the MEO will do the lifecycle management. And uh, for example, we also have the rule management to configure the UPF rule or DNS rule or, or any other things that we also have resource management and the plug of cloud management for the different uh, private or public cloud. We also have dashboards that you can show the different uh, um, monitor the resource and uh, and uh, get to the different state of the applications. Uh, the last one is the runtime. The runtime is uh, about two things. The first thing is our MEP. We include the API gateway and the capabilities and the data plan. Data plan is we extend the Kubernetes multi network plan. That we are using Matlas to extend the uh, network that we can 
we can have the different uh, uh, differentiation from the uh, Kubernetes current capabilities. But actually, in teleco, teleco world, we must uh, separate the application network and uh, uh, management network. So we have we using the Kubernetes controller and the informal uh, mechanism to give the capabilities for the developers that we can give multiple network for our applications and for the different management and uh, API call. Uh, so that uh, we provide such such um, capabilities. Uh, uh, in addition, that uh, we also add the uh, the controller for that uh, the API server could um, cause a multiple um, uh, multiple network by using the API server. So we do not need to directly use the IP address. We can you can use the domain name or, or any other things. Another part is application LCM and application rule management. After this, we uh, if you deploy the application LCM on the edge side, you can do the edge autom autonomy. That you can after you have the disconnection between the central cloud and the edge cloud, you can use the application LCM to control your edge node. So uh, we are support the container-based applications, uh, virtual machine-based applications. Also, we have the MEP agent to support to support it. The MEP agent is some something like the set curve uh, for the applications. They can help the uh, application to, to do the uh, uh, application registration and the subscription for the MEP. After this, you also have the could use the MEP agent for as a gateway to route to the API gateway to call the open capabilities. Yeah. Uh, so um, as I mentioned before, we have the top 10 native edge, guide, edge native technologies in, in enable digital transformation in the 5G network sure. industry. So this is a mapping to from the uh, our edge gallery to the edge native uh, technologies. We have the edge infrastructure, and the edge network, edge orchestrator, edge collaboration, edge AI, edge security, edge mesh, edge storage, edge framework, and edge security. We also have the, we have the different capabilities. Edge infrastructure will will give the different capabilities that are using different uh, hardware, and edge security will provide the edge node as a security for different uh, uh, different location or different hardware or different. Uh, uh, usage for the edge, and we have the edge framework for the developers that could use such edge framework to get the uh, um, convenience for for development. Uh, device SecOps, we have the two chains. Edge, edge orchestrator, we have the uh, um, the declarative uh, resource resource uh, orchestration for the. For the left command and the resource orchestration, each collaboration we we are going to collaborate as a network user end and as a five G network and also public cloud. We we can using each collaboration to work together. The MEP is easy to understand. We have the H A I data mesh and network network is especially for the five G network. So architectural view of the Kubage and the AGL in integration, as you can see on the source point of the uh, the green, green block, that we can collect the stream from device by using different protocol. So we leverage Kubage's protocol stack to, for example, we are using the Kubage OPC UE mapper to get the data from the uh, uh, from the devices after the we got the devices, we have the uh, the data analytic tools, for example, the Kuiper or, or Flink. We can we can automatically to configure it, configure everything together. For example, we can configure the Kubage, Kuiper, and uh, OPC UA mapper and the devices and the profile manager. We, we can configure together. Everything is uh, automatically done and uh, the end user just can use one profile. The, so here the profile is we can call it a different different uh, protocol profile. We also can call it as uh, uh, um, maybe some scenario for the different industry applications. So after this, we have the uh, different profile to 
goes to the profile management. The profile management will expose the different APIs. I mean, the unified APIs for the profile management. We can we can get the data from the profile management. Uh, for example, we'll output uh, such data to to the uh, IoT apps or public cloud. So uh, uh, you can see on the right side, the applications or public cloud also can use the HGARI MEP to empower the capabilities to themselves to uh, using the uh, HGARI capabilities. All right, uh, so for Cubage, the project was actually started in 2018 and donated to uh, CNCF as, an, uh, sand pro as a sandbox project in uh, March 2019. And now uh, Cubage is uh, the only uh, incubation level pro edge computing uh, project in the CNCF. Until now, we have uh, received more than 4,500 GitHub stars and uh, 1,300 uh, GitHub folks. And also uh, we have more than 800 contributors, uh, including more than 200 code submitters from uh, over 60 organizations or, uh, around the world. Uh, in the Cubage community, we actually have, have a, a lot of uh, special interest groups and uh, working groups to uh, discuss uh, uh, multiple uh, uh, technical areas uh, to better uh, help them in, uh, achieve the uh, age and the cloud, cloud collaboration uh, architecture. Uh, so the uh, AI SIG is uh, focusing on uh, simplified the AI workload uh, running on the edge and also automatically uh, enable the uh, collaboration between uh, cloud edge with federated learning and also uh, incremental learn, uh, uh, incremental training and the lifelong learning and the joint uh, inferencing uh, sort of things. And the uh, IoT uh, special interest group is uh, focusing on simplify the uh, device integration. Uh, no matter uh, the what the uh, uh, protocols the uh, device they are using, and the MECC is uh, focusing on provide a reference architecture to leverage the MEC. Uh, 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 platform running on top of uh, Cubage, and also the wireless working group is actually uh, 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 discussing about how we can leverage uh, the uh, edge computing deployment with uh, uh, edge nodes actually uh, keep changing the positions. And recently there was uh, a discussion about uh, establishing the robotics special interest group to simplify the uh, robotics development on the edge and uh, uh, collaborate with uh, services in the cloud. You can actually uh, check out the Cubage community open governance uh, document for more details. And uh, from technical perspective, uh, actually, uh, Cubage is based on Kubernetes. So uh, we provide the Kubernetes native API support on the edge. So basically, uh, if you have any uh, applications that depends on Kubernetes, uh, or you have some uh, plugins or uh, operators uh, that is uh, relevant to Kubernetes APIs, you can easily run on edge with uh, the uh, native API support, Kubernetes native API support provided by uh, Cubage without any code refactoring. And to uh, uh, deal with uh, uh, low quality uh, network environment between edge and the cloud, actually uh, Cubage provides uh, seamless cloud edge uh, collaboration uh, mechanism, uh, which uh, makes life much easier to uh, for the whole system work over uh, low quality network. And also uh, the edge 
nodes can be located in uh, any uh, subnet or private network or uh, behind the firewall. And even the edge is disconnected to the cloud uh, with the uh, edge autonomy functionality provided by Cubage, uh, the node and the applications on the edge are easily to uh, uh, work autonomically uh, with all the relevant in information uh, uh, persisted on the uh, edge node. And also we uh, op optimized a lot uh, of the uh, underlying uh, system overhead to uh, make uh, a, the whole system easier to run on the uh, low resource uh, devices and the low resource uh, edge service. So uh, for QVAG itself, it takes only around uh, 70 megabytes, which is quite a small footprint. And also to simplify the device uh, integration, actually uh, QVAG have a, uh, a device uh, mapper uh, framework, uh, which provides extensibility to uh, easily integrate any, with any uh, 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 device uh, protocols. And also uh, QVAG provides the uh, cloud view for uh, the metrics data from the globe. Okay, uh, so this is the uh, Cubage architecture. Actually, uh, uh, in the cloud, it need a, uh, uh, to run together with the vanilla Kubernetes. Uh, with this, uh, actually, user is able to manage both uh, nodes in the cloud and nodes on the edge. While for any updates, uh, relevant to the nodes on the edge. For example, a new uh, pod, a new application uh, is scheduled to uh, any edge nodes. Cloud Core will help uh, synchronize the updates, the uh, application definition, the uh, containers to the uh, corresponding edge node. And the edge core actually, uh, uh, it contains a, a lightweight Toolnet will uh, help spin up the uh, right container to serve the uh, applications. So um, actually, uh, uh, the edge core will support any uh, OCI conformant container runtime, including uh, Docker, Container D, uh, CIO, and uh, uh, Kata containers. Besides the uh, standard uh, Container uh, the CNI uh, plugins, Cubage provides the edge mesh framework to simplify the service communication between a different uh, subnet, a different uh, private network. So it will automatically establish uh, the P2P connection between different uh, subnet uh, with that the uh, containers, the applications on the edge uh, can easily talk to is with the, uh, each other uh, with uh, exactly the same experience uh, you are using a Kubernetes service in the data center. And for their storage on the edge, we also uh, support the standard uh, CSI uh, plugins. And the uh, uh, connection uh, between cloud and the edge, uh, by default, we are using uh, the WebSocket as the uh, underlying protocol. And uh, actually on top of that, we, uh, it's a, a messaging mechanism uh, provided by uh, Cubage. And we also uh, implemented uh, the uh, application layer uh, uh, message, uh, uh, the, the, the message uh, persistency, uh, uh, which ensure your uh, uh, applications on the cloud is up to, uh, uh, on the edge is up to the uh, desired state in defining the Kubernetes. And to simplify the, uh, uh, the device integration, actually, uh, uh, Cubage has a 
device member uh, framework. So uh, any uh, devices with its own uh, protocols can be easily integrated with uh, Cubage. So basically, for example, we have uh, uh, some devices uh, uh, uses Modbus uh, protocol. So uh, uh, Cubage provide a, a, a Modbus uh, device mapper to have a convert uh, the uh, messages, the uh, data data from Modbus to the standard uh, MQTT based email uh, messages. So uh, with that, the applications on the edge, they don't need to worry about the uh, the real protocols the uh, device is using. They just need to. Uh, know about the uh, message format defined by Cubage and subscribe from the, the uh, standard message topic defined by Cubage and they can easily uh, talk with the uh, uh, device. And also uh, Cubage uh, makes it quite easy for the users to define their own uh, device members uh, to integrate with any uh, uh, third-party uh, uh, devices and the device protocols. There are like thousands of IoT devices which are OPC UA based in a factory. So here, uh, QEdge is used to collect data from these devices, which are sending 1,000 readings per second, and this data is goes to Edge Gallery. As Galley runs CTL engine, lightweight data store, and a visualization application. So which first we'll create a project. We will give name of our application. So here we can upload our deployment file. I will select. It's, now we can do a sandbox test for our IoT test success. Sandbox testing is successful. Next step, we, our uh, deployment is success. So we can uh, provide uh, some information about our application here in this file. The configuration, we go to next step, the testing. So it has certain type of test cases will be performed on this application. So all test has passed on the package. Now we can go to next step. We can first distribute this application to the selected node. So I'm going to uh, deploy on as node one. Now distribution is successful. We can deploy this application. It will take some time. So our services are getting ready. Yeah, so our services has been started successful. So we using uh, TD engine. So I will select. We can see our dashboard. So currently uh, there is no data coming to the dashboard. So till now we have not enabled any device. So no data is available in this dashboard. Now we'll see people. So this is the topic from the QEdge and here uh, we're giving byte card device so whatever device QEdge is getting collecting data all will be uh, get by Cooper. then uh, we have set rules in Cooper. so we are transforming and filtering the data IoT data so here we transform like a, a time stamp in the readings from the devices and we transform in the uh, in readings it is coming temperature as temp so 
which we converting to a uh, name like temperature and uh, this temp value are coming in stream so that we converting to int to store in our db okay so now we will uh, deploy opca server which is collecting data from 1000 opca clients and uh, cubeage will get data from this opca server so uh, this is opca server i will start opca server now we can see the log of this opca server So we can see uh, has connected with 1000 OPC server. Listen on this URL. Now I will start a client. So this will start 1000 clients. Which so this is our QBS setup. So I will show you. So, so this setup has one master, cubage master and one cubage node. Now we will see if any device is configured in cubage. So uh, currently no device is configured. So I have already created a template file and device instance file. So I will quickly show. So we have model here. I will show one model. So device model is like device template and a cube edge device instance will use this device model as a template to create a device instance in cube edge. So our device model has two properties. One is temperature and other is humidity. I will show you device instances configuration files. So we have already generated 1000 device files. Our file has one device configuration. I will show you one device. So this is kind of device in QBH where we can define our device instance. So uh, we can give our name. So we gave lamp one. And this is the model which this device will create. So next is protocol. So this device is using OPC protocol. And this is the URL, server URL, from where it will get the readings. So this server we already started. Next is property visitors. So this device, what all property it has? So it has two property, temperature, humidity. For temperature, this is the OPC ID from where it will get the temperature. So this temperature node ID is like namespace 22 and string, which is a type string, is sensor one. So each device name is like lamp one, lamp two, lamp three till 1000 lamp. And here this detail of the property is provided. So here temperature and here we can see sensor is one, 100. So now I can show you cube edge use OPC mapper for protocol layer. We have two model in this path. So these two model has been created. So we have created two model. Now I will create two devices. Okay, we will create 1000, we will configure 1000 devices. So in this path, we have 1000 configuration file for devices. So this will create and configure 1000 device instance. So in CubeEdge, we have configured 1000 OPCA device. Okay, so it has created. We can check whether OPC service is started or not. So it is running, it is started. So we can see this service.
So we can see uh, our OPC service is started and it is getting data from OPC server. And these are the uh, readings from OPC server it is getting. So we can see like uh, it is getting temperature, humidity, and uh, values are like uh, in string and time step is in like uh, a number which these values will transform in okay so we will see the db so in uh, td engine we have a db iot db for collecting and storing iot data So it is almost 1000 devices data. So device plus device data, it is storing with timestamp. In our uh, visualization application, which for which we are using Grafana. So here we have configured some random devices, which a user is interested. So we configured like lamp one, lamp 250, lamp 700, lamp 999 to show different device data. So here we can see, so uh, since we just started, uh, we may not, data is coming. So with different uh, lamp has uh, different readings at different point of time, you can see here. And here, this graph is for a uh, total count, uh, message count per second. So uh, we are attached like 1,000 devices and each device sending one reading per second. 